Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. And I am talking with Dr. Carrie Gelm, who is in practice in Woodbridge, New Jersey. And he is about to have the world premiere of his movie called Open Your Eyes, and he's gonna to talk to us about it. So Dr. Gelb, thank you so much for talking with me today. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So first, can you tell me a little bit about the movie, um, Open Your Eyes, and how you came up with the idea? Well, one of the problems with our profession is we do amazing things as optometrists. We do make amazing diagnosis as far as systemic disease and of course ocular disease, but it's a secret. The public doesn't know what we do. So the reason why we're we made this film is because we wanted the public to know exactly what an optometrist is capable of doing. So this film, which has been premiered just to some critics, after I show the film to the critics, they ask me questions. And they always say to me, I didn't know an optometrist could do that. So we were on the right track. We knew we did the right thing because, you know, we deal with glasses and, and contacts. And that's what people think that that's all we deal with. Right. There are close to 300 systemic, systemic diseases that affect the eye. And that a lot of times the optometrist is the first one to diagnose one of those systemic diseases that manifest in the eye. And we want the public to know that. So that's why we made the film. I think that's a great idea. And you're absolutely right. Um, people think, well, I don't think there's a problem with my eyes or I don't think I need new glasses. So I'm not going to go see the eye doctor. And it's more of when a patient perceives the problem as opposed to thinking of it as a general health checkup. And dentists, of course, have done a really great job in marketing themselves and letting everybody know twice a year, go see your dentist. Everybody knows that. But unfortunately, they don't really think the same about optometrists. So I think this is a fabulous idea. So when did you come up with this idea and how did you get started in putting all of this together? I mean, it seems like such a daunting task. So I'm the president of this organization called All Docs. And about three years ago, we're having a meeting and we realized that about 20 years ago, 25 years ago, the online contact lens sellers would say something like this, I'm paraphrasing, but buy your contact lenses from us because your eye doctor is ripping you off. Mm. So we felt that they were going to do something very similar with the eye exam. And they have, they'll say that, you know, that you don't, that puff of the air in your eye, you know, buy your contacts from us. You know, why have that puff of the air in your eye? So we felt that it was very important that we explain what we're, what, who we are and what we do and what we're capable of doing. Because there's nobody out there telling the public what an optometrist is capable of. So that's how we came up with the idea. So because I'm president of this organization, I have access to be able to raise money. So we had the idea, I was able to raise money from the, especially from the big contact lens companies. Yeah. And they were very, very helpful because without us, they don't have a business, let's face it. With no optometrists, we're not there to prescribe the contact lenses or regular you know, technology companies, we're not there to use their technology, they don't have a business. So it's important that we work together and that we, got the, we get the word out. So because of that, we teamed up with the contact lens companies and we have over a million dollars into this film. So this isn't, you know, this isn't a basement production. This was <laughs> done by uh, Wayne Chesler, who is the, who, who's being filmed. He's an Emmy award win winner, a producer, and it took him a long time to kind of understand our profession, because as a as a producer and a movie maker, you have to learn the field. And you know, he came in knowing nothing, so he had to learn optometry, and it took him a little while to learn it. But once he learned it, he was able to put the pieces of the puzzle together and really come up with a movie that's really a lot of fun, that tells a great story, and it makes it interesting for people, even young kids to old people and everybody in between. Because if you see that, once you see the film, you see there's a number of different storylines that attract all different ages. That sounds really interesting. And I did see the trailer. 
and I can pick that up just from the trailer. And I did see some people I knew in the trailer, but also some people who are not part of optometry at all. How did you decide who to talk to? You know, I'm very interested in integrative medicine and vascular medicine. So I study a lot and I go to a lot of conferences. I watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos and lectures. So I would give the names to the director and he would vet them and say, well, this is a good fit. This isn't a good fit. One of the main ideas of the film was not to have optometrists bragging about optometrists or about optometry. <laughs> it was to have other professions like a nephrologist, an internist, explaining a neurosurgeon, explaining about the powers of the eye and how important the eye is. And of course, when we're looking in the eye, we're looking at microns. So we could see disease way before other subspecialties, and then we could work with those subspecialties to help our patients. Absolutely. Well, how can people see this movie? Because I know that you're having a world premiere and I know people want to see it. So how can they? So we want to show it to the optometric, ophthalmic, the vision community first, because the movie is made for the public. It's not made for optometrists. It's not made for the vision community. It's made to educate the public, again, about what an optometrist does and the power of an eye exam and how the eye is such a tremendous biomarker for diagnosing disease. So we're going to show it April 29th at 8 o'clock Eastern time. And we're bringing the whole ophthalmic community, the whole vision community together. Right now, we have over 4,000 Right now, we have over 4,000 people signed up. Wow. And we want to get to between five and 15,000 people. And we have three days left. So if, you, if you're out there, sign up, watch the film. It's a lot of fun. I know you'll enjoy it. Excellent. Well, we'll help you to get, get the word out. So Thank after you have the world premiere um, in a few days, then what's next for the movie? So we're going to take the movie and we're going to chop it up into 30 seconds, one minute, three minute, five minute segments. And we're going to send it out to the op optometrists in the community so they could play it for themselves. They could play it in their waiting room. They could use it on their social media to help promote their practice and help promote the great work that they do. That's a fabulous idea. I think that's great. So that way more people can see it. Doctors can share it with their patients and get that word out. So I did have a quick question for you about something that I saw in the trailer that one of your participants said that the optometrist is the new general physician. And so I that, that was really powerful. Yeah, the OD is a new GP. That was said by a vision scientist, uh, Lisa, Dr. Lisa Renzi. And she really believes that, you know, we're kind of forced into that, into that position because our technology is so good. When I first became an optometrist, I'm looking at an ophthalmoscope. I could probably see about 100 microns. Now, with the technology we have, we can see 10 microns. So we're picking up systemic disease way before other doctors pick it up. So, we, so that puts us in a position to be able to diagnose systemic disease early, but work with other subspecialists to help our patients get the absolute best care. Great. Well, we will absolutely share the news about uh, the world premiere coming up. We will put the link. And then one other quick question for you. You mentioned that you are president of All Docs. Would you tell us a little bit about what that organization is? So All Docs is an, the association of lens crafters, sublease doctors, independent doctors. And we get together on a yearly basis to uh, provide medical and business education. And also during the year, we provide medical and business education to help our doctors to practice at the highest level that they can to give the absolute best care to their patients. Thanks so much for that. And Dr. Gelb, thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank you for having me.